Committee members, my name is Sophia Lori and I'm with California Family Council. At first glance, SB 59 appears to be a positive bill. How can anyone be against providing menstrual products in women's restrooms? Yet, this bill also requires state-owned buildings to provide menstrual products in male restrooms, pushing the lie that men can have a menstrual cycle and erasing the truth of what a woman is. This bill disregards the inherent dignity of women by attempting to obscure obvious biological distinctions between males and females. Let's walk through basic biology. Only females have to endure monthly menstruation where the lining of the uterus sheds, causing blood to flow from their uterus through their cervix and out of their vagina. Does a man have a uterus? No. Does a man have a cervix? No. Does a man have a vagina? No. Thus, males do not have a menstrual cycle. Let me repeat that. Males do not and cannot have a menstrual cycle. Your bill makes a mockery of this reality. The author claims to be standing up for women, yet SB 59 erases women when it pretends our biology has nothing to do with our identity. This committee is made up of nine female members. Think of the hard fought battles women endured for the right to vote, to own property, to run for office, and to be treated legally as equal to men. We went from fighting for women's rights to now fighting for men's rights to feminine products. You are being asked to affirm the idea that anyone can be a woman. Is that the legacy you want to leave your daughters and granddaughters? If you really want to be pro-women, ask that this bill be amended to remove the requirement that men's bathrooms need feminine products too. I urge a no vote on SB 59. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Senator Rubio. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I also want to commend the author. I am a proud co-author to your bill, and so I'm really glad that we're providing access for those that don't have access. And uh, and it makes me sad when we do hear misinformation and what comes across as uncollaborative and just hateful. So I hope that we move this forward, and we can all agree that having these in restrooms as women is important. So thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair.